Okay, let's see. What's the first news? The first news, let me actually bring up the summaries. I'm going to do... The first news is, gay is not okay. Muslim dad slams school for teaching children gay is okay in fresh protests against LGBT lessons. You know, I really think this is really a good thing to show more people how uh, intolerant Islam is of, uh, you know, gay rights. But let's see what the summary is. The summary is, a Muslim dad flew into a, into a rage during protests outside Parkfield Community School in Birmingham. He fumed to journalists, don't teach our children that gay is okay because in Islam, gay is not okay. But we have to tolerate it. We have no issues against the person. Oh, he, this is what he's con uh, he's, he continues to say. He says, we have to tolerate it. We have no issues against the person who practices sodomy. Let him do it at home. Wait, isn't that a contradiction? He said it's not okay. Now he's saying we have no problem with it. So you're saying it's okay now. So we should ban you according to your own standards. Anyways, I'm, I, just to make sure we have, we're have we not misrepresenting this guy, I'm going to play the video to, this, what, uh, to see what exactly he said. The dad's outburst comes after par parents took home 600 kids from school in March following head teacher Andrew Moffat. And, is that right? No Outsiders Project. An LGBT awareness program. The school has ref the school has refused to ask the program, which has caused outrage in the predominantly Muslim community. Kudos to the school, by the way, for not backing down, right? Exactly. Yeah. Let me see what the video. Let me just play the video. This guy seems like he's up to no good. Let's see what he has to say. Let me unmute this. Play. And don't teach our children that gay is okay because in Islam, gay is not okay, but we have to tolerate it. We have no issues against the person who practices sodomy. Let him do it at home. Okay, so if Mr. Moffat is teaching about uh, ballet, you know, male ballet dancers, or if he wants to become a male ballet dancer, I have no objections for him to be that. Yeah, if he wants to dress in his skirt. That's right, this is... Okay, that was that was that was funny. You you know you're religious when you call gay relationships sodomy, but like, imagine I don't understand. Okay, so what what I don't even understand what they what they are thinking. Uh, you know this the interesting thing about this is that a lot of right wing Christians are agreeing with Muslims these right now. They're like, oh, don't teach kids that gay is okay because. Of, even if it's some of them try to come off as like they're not that they're not homophobes right so they say like you know what we don't have any problem with gay people but this is about sex why are you teaching kids about sexual stuff why are you sexualizing sexualizing their education right but the interesting thing is that the level of they're not like they, they talk about it as if they're showing kids gay porn you know in school they're not, the level of sexuality that the kids are exposed to learning about gay relationships is the same level of sexuality they're exposed to when they're learning about princes falling in love with princesses or straight. Like, how come the same parents are don't come out and say like, oh, these children's stories where they're straight relationships, in, in, you know, moms and dads together. Wait, wait a minute. How moms and dads together, they have children. So that means they have had sex. So why are you exposing my children to straight relationships? So why are they not angry about that? Because th what they're not. What are you? What do you think they're teaching their kids? You think they're teaching your kids like, oh, this is how gay people have sex? No, they're just telling you. You know how you have moms and dads sometimes. Sometimes you have two dads. They're not teaching them about sexual stuff. The same level of sexuality they're exposed to that 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 they were before with regards to straight relationships. So that that's just an excuse people make. But I think this is a good thing. I think a lot of a lot of um, liberal people. You, you know, I, I never understood this uh, u unity between Islam and the left, especially because Islam is right wing inherently, but it just didn't make any sense. And the only way they could make it work is by hiding the fact that everything is an Islam is against liberal values. So I think this helps more and more liberal people wake up to the fact that, yeah, Islam is not the side that you want to be on. Let me see what 
Wolf is saying Wolf is saying said it in their way said it in their ways is such a joke thought by religion only no facts yeah this is a joke but it's a good joke because I was waiting for you know I was waiting for this happen but I don't know what the outcome is gonna be right Chris like I think that I knew this is gonna happen I knew that the marriage between the left and Islam and again not all hashtag not all not uh, not all liberals especially not liberals but also not leftists um, they don't endorse Islam okay but the ones that did the ones that were making excuses for Islam I thought this is a marriage that cannot last forever they eventually are going to realize that they're not me you know made for each other but I, I wanted to see where this clash will eventually happen and of course it's going to happen with LGBT because the LGBT stuff is 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 of course it's going to be LGBT because for for the for the left this is something that they will not give an inch to anybody right they're like no way and also for Muslims this is the most sensitive thing right this is the most is this is something that is very icky to them they're also not going to give an inch on this so this is of like I don't know of course this is going to be the the main thing that they're going to be fighting on so this is only going to get bigger it started in the United Kingdom but this is going to take this this marriage is going to fall apart and I told I mentioned people to people la uh, two weeks ago I think that we need to we need to highlight this more and we need to get our gay rights activists we need to put them in front of the line when it comes to fighting Islam, because this is their kryptonite, they can't, t they cannot act take this. Okay, they're very, very sensitive, uh, sensitive about this. I, I know personally because I have done so many things uh, against Islam, and I've never received more death threats uh, than when it has anything to do with LGBT rights. Right? I can tell you, I have done stuff that didn't get that many death threats, and I tell you, how, I have. Burn the Quran on YouTube. Go watch that. Armin never will be burning the Quran. I give you all the reasons why I think it's okay to do that. I didn't get that many death threats from that. Okay. Uh, we did. We had Dry Muhammad uh, uh, contests. Uh, we had bur you know, burn the Quran, you know, uh, hashtags and everything, right? And not that many death threats came my way. I know other people got it, but not my way. But when I, there's two times in my life that I got the most amount of death threats. That was one. The first one was when I, when Atheist Republic went and had the rainbow Kaaba. We had the Kaaba and we put the rainbow flags around it. Uh, we removed the black drapes with the rainbow drapes. That was the one, one time in my life I got the most death threats. And the second time is when I went to the gay pride parade in Vancouver and I had the Allah is gay sign. And the reaction was the point to show people how much homophobia the Muslim community is dealing with, right? And I had the police come on, uh, you know, multiple times to my home because of the amount of death threats that I got, right? This is something that is going to be ugly. But the only thing that I'm so I, the optimistic side of me says that this is a good thing because it's going to highlight the problem with Islam. But the pessimistic side of me will say that. When it comes to the left versus Islam, Islam is a stronger meme. Right now, it seems like the school is not giving up and is like, you know, no, we're going to tell kids that being gay is okay, which is really good that the school is doing that in the UK. We don't get that many good news from UK, but so but kudos to the school when it comes to doing this. They need to be congratulated because when it comes to Islam in the UK, not, pe not that many people are standing their ground, okay? But overall, Islam is a much, much stronger meme when it comes, you know, when it comes to defeating other memes that standing in stand in its way. So this is why I wanted, you know, the lib the people that used to call themselves liberal, and now they're like, oh no, these are all social justice warrior snowflakes. I tell them, you know, you should go back, you should reclaim what liberal means, what being left means, because. We, if we if we don't go back right now, this is what Islam is going to take completely. Like this is the area, the LGBT rights area, especially, is not an area that we want to be uh, defeated in, right? By by uh, by the Islamic meme. Okay, so you need to go back and you need to reclaim 
what being a liberal means, which means standing for liberal values, which is an against Islam, liberal values are against Islam, and you need to, you know, stand your ground, don't quit being a liberal just because you saw some liberals that you didn't like, okay? This is not a battle that we could lose. We cannot let LGBT rights be defeated just because you saw some social justice warriors that you didn't like on the internet. Let me see. Wolf is saying Islam is so backwards and outdated, it's embarrassing to the human race. Yep, true. Will the Atheist Republic ban? Um, I will ban you if you troll. Uh, that's okay. Nobody, okay, tag us if you want us to read your comment. Let me see what the top comment is. Chris, did I miss any comments? No, not that I could see. Okay. Not, not. Let me know, add any comments if you have anything you want to add to what I said. Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay, Price is saying, the religion aside, I'm a bi dad and an atheist, and I far prefer my kids learning about economics, STEM, uh, um, v I don't know what it is, civics, instead of, um, what does this stand for? Um, socially acceptable studies. Okay, Price, that's, that's bullshit, because, so Price thinks that because he's bi, that means he's he has that means anything. First of all, whenever somebody starts a sentence with like, "Hey, I'm a woman," or "I'm bi," or "I'm from Iran," and they think that means that that whatever they're gonna say after, what uh, now has more credibility, just be like, "No, okay, just let me tell me what you have to say." And I'll judge it based on what you're saying. What, whatever you are, it's not going to change how right or wrong you are, okay? So, like, hey, I'm a by dad. Okay, who gives a shit? Tell me what your point is. And your point is wrong. You're saying that, oh, I don't want the school to teach my kids about uh, what's socially acceptable. So, wait, so, let's, uh, what about right now in school they teach about, like, um civil rights activists in the United States, like Martin Luther. That was part of history class for everybody, right? Like, um, or like when they teach you about uh, Rosa Parks or about these other people that stood against, um, you know, misogyny, um, homophobia, racism. You think all of these things are um, not important to teach the kids to show like, hey, look, people... Uh, there are other people in, you know, history, like, you, what do you mean? Like, social studies is part of, a, an important part of every school. And what, is it not important to teach people this important fact that some people, um, you know, are not straight? You know how many kids are going to be less depressed by, by knowing that there is not something weird about them? You know how many, how many kids have in school... Uh, when they see that every, everything is about straight people and they realize that they're attracted to the same sex, they're going to think that there's something wrong with them or somebody else that discovers that they are attracted to the same sex. They're going to, they, want, they think that there's something, they're, they're, they have a mental issue, that there's some, they can bully them. Do you know how important it is for all, for all these kids to normalize this, to introduce them to people that live differently, think differently? I, again, by think and, think and live, I'm not talking about... Um, values, okay, because there's only only good values should be encouraged, okay. But things that are biological, normalizing them, it's important. It makes people accept themselves. It makes people accept each other. This is a very imp if first of all. So what you're saying is bullshit. So you're thinking only economics and STEM and civics matter. Well, I, I don't know. So if social studies is an important part of every school cur curriculum. And if this is not part of it, I don't know what, how, how, you, how would you suggest that this is not an important thing to learn? That some people are not straight. Why is that, how, how, why is that a thing that we shouldn't include in our message, right? You think, but just because math is important, you think this is not important? I don't understand. Uh, and also, by the way, you, you, the fact that you're by that doesn't make you credible. I, I accept the work that the people that, that, you know, when people come up with what should they put in school studies, they have research, they have experts, they have people that have done, that have, have access to a lot of data, right? Being a dad or being bi doesn't give you credibility. If people, if the people that decide what to put in school based on a lot of data and research, if they do that job right, even if they're straight and 
and they have no kids, I'll trust that more over whatever you say. Uh, next up comment is, uh, it says, I support this. Uh, see, these are people that, it's very interesting. They're like, oh, uh, I think even atheists are, will support the, even atheist, homophobic atheists will support this Muslim dad because homophobia is not um, exclusive you know, for, uh, to just religious people. Let me see. T is saying that that makes a lot of sense. Uh, not only for your point, but also because the more a child isn't having to deal with BS, the more they can focus on their education. Good point. Uh, Brody is saying, I would have been seriously less depressed uh, if I had known that being gay was a real thing before I was 16 and it had been legal before I was 16. Uh, like many others, I just felt alone because I'd never heard of it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Chris is saying, Atheist Republic to them, LGBTQ are inhuman, immoral people, so their struggles differ from everyone else. Yes. Um, right there. And also another thing I want to point out, some people may like, oh, these are my kids. I get to do whatever I have to decide what they learn. I have to decide what they're exposed to. No, you don't own your kids. Just because something came out of you doesn't mean you own it, okay? You can't, uh, what, you know, like, again, I'm uh, for limited government, and I think even though I'm for limited government, the government does have a role, which is, which the role of the government is to protect its citizens, okay? And the most important citizens to protect are children, especially children that are next to parents that don't know what's best for them, okay? So, uh, your, the, the, your, the, the, the citizens that cannot protect themselves and citizens that cannot make decisions for their own life are the main citizens that the government need to protect. And I say that as somebody that believes in limited government. And if you don't teach the things that studies and science shows that your, that your kids need to learn, then you're, you're not a good parent. And I go over the decision that the government makes over the decision that the parents make. Again, you don't own your children. Anyways, Chris, did you want to add anything before we go to the next news? Yeah, just that his the dad's contradictions made no sense whatsoever. Why do you, if you didn't care about the homosexuality being taught in school, why are you pro? I mean, if you didn't don't care about homosexuality in general, why are you protesting that it's being taught in school? Why do you care for it? Again, well, he, that, that, no, it. that's not what he said. He said that I, uh, they, people could be gay at in their home in their private lives. Don't bring them. Don't bring it in their school. In, in school, I don't. He said I don't care what they, what, um, how how other people live their lives personally. Well, the contradiction is that well, if you don't care how they live their lives, this is what the whole point of the school <laughs> teaching is. That let you know yeah, this is their person. This is their. Per this is they're teaching them like this is how some people are and this is how they live personally. They're not teaching your kids to be gay. They're just teaching them that this is some. Pe this is how some people are. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.